Okay guys, let's assemble the E3D Titan and you also need a motor <coughs> stepper motor NEMA 17 and a bracket So you can start by adding the grub screw to the extruder gear and just place the gear on the motor shaft we're gonna adjust this later then we can place the bracket on the motor so make sure that you have that you that you face the connection point in the direction you want it then we can add the gear house and this is actually a mirrored version of the Titan, so it's probably opposite from what you are used to. That doesn't matter. This is a short M3. To attach the housing to the motor through the back through the bracket. So the extruder gear is going to be placed in this bearing like like this then we can just turn the bracket back and uh, at this point we must check the extruder the the motor gear because these gears are supposed to be flush so that's very important that these gears are flush I can now feel that the motor gear is a little bit lower than the black gear. So I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust that just a little bit. So I'm just gonna release the grub screw and just pull it up a little bit. So it's flush. Make sure that it's flush. like this and then we can tighten the gear so the handle for the idler and the idler goes on to the motor bracket facing towards the hub the hub gear like this <coughs> and then we can add the thumb screw and the spring so let's add the nut to the thumb screw just like this we can add the spring to the thumb screw and we can place the thumb screw inside the slot and we can pre-tension it a little bit so there's a little bit of tension on the level and then we can add the filament guides so there are two filament guides there's one 3 millimeter and one 175 so they are labeled so pick the one with 175 or whatever fits your filament and place it in the slot like this and then we can place either the extruder if you are direct drive you place the extruder inside here or you have this uh, Bowden um, yeah, connector so that's going down into this slot like that so let's add the lid and it can only be placed one way and you want the spring spacer uh, on top of the, the bearing and the bearing is going the bearing in the lid is going on to the hub gear and the axle is going into the middle so it can only be placed one way so one of these screws are shorter than the other three and the short one you want up by the the Bowden connector or your hot end the other guys are going like this and the one with blue Loctite is going here so and this guy is not going to be very firm 
you want to make sure that the gear turns without resistance. So these guys you can tighten uh, like normal tension. It's plastic so don't over tighten it. And this one has another Allen key so I'm gonna do that one as well. And we can make sure that the gear turns free and we can tighten this guy a little bit. It has a spring spacer so I'm not gonna like over tighten this. And uh, turn the gear, make sure everything runs fine. So this is good. And then <clears throat> We can make sure that uh, that the tension is okay for the level. Uh, yes, we can have the, um, the nut uh, about halfway in to start with and then we can uh, adjust from there. We also would like a filament guide. We're gonna use a PTF tube for that just inside here like that. So that's it. There we have the E3D Titan extruder ready to run. Thanks.